figured I'd throw an update in this video. I've actually got the gasket set for the 12 valve engine, so I should be able to get back on that project pretty soon and get to working on it again. And I also wanted to recommend two channels if you haven't heard of them already. The first channel is the Fox Shop, and the second channel is Central Oregon Shenanigans. Now both of these channels have a lot of great content, and both of these channels also work on OBS Ford project trucks. Now John Fox from the Fox Shop is working on a Bronco right now, getting it painted up, Grabber Blue, which is a really nice looking color. So you can go ahead and check that out. And the guys from Central Oregon Shenanigans are putting together an OBS Ford truck that they just done a really nice paint job on, with the help from John Fox, getting that thing put back together so Kyle can start driving it again. And both of those channels have a lot of great content, so if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to them. They're great guys. And if you do, just go ahead and tell them that Zane sent you. Today I wanted to show you two vintage ratchets that I came across a while back. Now the first one's half inch drive and the second one's three quarter drive and they're both made by Walden Warchester Tools. Now if you're ever looking for any kind of information on old tools there's a great website out there called Alloy Artifacts and you can pretty much find information on any hand tool that's ever been made. It's very interesting. You should check them out. Now the first one as you can see is half inch drive now this is what's called a push through ratchet. As you can see there's no selector from forward to backward or tightening or loosening. What you do is you take the drive plug. Now this drive plug is also an extension as well. And one side has a pin ran through it. That's the side that goes into the ratchet so it can't go all the way through. One side tightens, flip it over, and the other side loosens. Now this tool right here was made anywhere from 1920 to 1925. And the second one is a three-quarter inch. And as you can see, this one's a lot heavier duty than the half-inch drive. This one's also riveted together, so you can't actually take that apart. But it works in the same principle. One side of this drive plug tightens, and the other side loosens. Now this ratchet was made anywhere from 1925 to 1930. So it's amazing that these tools are still around and you could probably take these out, put a socket on them and still get the job done.
of the greatest things about collecting vintage tools is the fact that people still know their worth. I mean, take something like this, for instance. It wasn't left outside and rusted up. Somebody took the time to either put this on a shelf somewhere or put it in a toolbox because they knew that one day they could sell it and somebody could still take this out, put a socket on it, and get the job done with it. It just goes to show you that a tool passed down to the right hands, if properly taken care of, could virtually last forever. Thank you very much for watching the video. I planned on unloading this, but I got back here kind of late. Bought this from a super nice guy and we stood there and talked for quite a while, so got back a little later than I was hoping to. But thank you very much for watching the video. Be sure to check out the Fox Shop and Central Oregon Shenanigans. And leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you're into. And just a friendly reminder that it doesn't matter if you're working on your project in a garage or in your driveway. What matters is that you go out there, you do the job yourself, and you learn more about your project, whatever that project may be. My name is Zane, and I'll catch you next time.